While relieving himself in Antarctica, perhaps due to the high concentration of his urine, a hole unexpectedly formed where he had just relieved himself. Curious, he prodded the area with a pole, and the next moment, the snowy ground cracked open like falling dominoes, rapidly expanding into a deep, seemingly bottomless crevice. The man, caught off guard, slipped and fell, but managed to grab onto the sled's rope just in time. His nearby companion rushed to help. After securing the sled, the man attempted to climb up using the sled, but nearly slipped into the abyss. To facilitate his rescue, the companion climbed to the edge of the crevice, dropped another rope, and the man desperately clung to it with his frowsing hands. The companion exerted all his strength, and... After a strenuous effort, the man was finally pulled to safety, Despite the numerous dangers, they couldn't give up because successfully completing this expedition would undoubtedly become a historic achievement. Influenced by his father, Rode had been passionately pursuing adventure since childhood. In order to conquer the unknown, he even marked his coordinates on the globe. Rode began training as cold resistance in icy water at the age of 10. During his youth, he pushed his limits in various well-known extreme regions. After decades of effort, Rode and his companions set sail on an expedition ship from Norway on August 9th. 1910. After over four months of challenging navigation, the expedition ship entered the pack ice, accompanied by a British expedition. For the sake of their dreams and national honor, they had to seize every moment. After recuperating at the base camp for their Antarctic expedition, Rold, on September 8, 1911, led a team of five expedition members to embark on their first exploration. However, their journey faced an unfavorable start, as they encountered a terrifying blizzard shortly after setting out, forcing them to retreat to the camp for recovery. It wasn't until over a month later that they attempted their second expedition. Though this time they avoided blizzards, the extreme cold weather remained almost unbearable. Within just a few days, team members suffered frostbite, a seemingly inconspicuous challenge on their path to success. The deep and rugged Antarctic Plateau was both terrifying and spectacular, with Rode meticulously recording these unknown coordinates on their map. After 24 days since departure, a team member, unable to find a public restroom, urinated on the snow layer, leading to the incident mentioned earlier. This journey was destined to be fraught with danger, with everyone acknowledging the possibility of losing their lives. Yet, the rewards were unprecedented, akin to naming these previously undiscovered peaks after themselves. This sense of accomplishment was a profound satisfaction. In the latter part of the expedition, food became scarce, and they resorted to pointing their guns at the sled dogs. Though brutal, it was the only way to ensure the success of the expedition and survival. After 45 days, they entered an immensely vast area. Through careful measurements and comparisons, the team joyfully discovered that this was the center of Antarctica. <laughs> On December 14th, 1911, humanity reached the South Pole for the first time, and this remarkable achievement quickly spread to every corner of the world through major media outlets. Upon returning home, the expedition members rightfully received heroes' welcomes. 